Welcome back TCS viewers, Chris Nichols here from the camera store. We've got a special one for you today because this is the first time that we're actually going to talk about a software program as opposed to camera gear. Uh, we've got Kelly Budd here from Athen Tech. Thanks for joining us today, Kelly. You bet, Chris. And we're going to talk about Perfectly Clear, which is your software. It's been on the market for a few years now. And, and we at the camera store have tried this, we've played with it, and it's very exciting. It does some different stuff. Now, the other great thing about this company is it's a local Calgary company. <laughs> That's nice too. So Kelly, tell us, what, what sets apart your software from all the other stuff out there on the market? You know, Chris, it's very easy. What we do is automatic image correction. So it's simply one click, goes in, does 12 corrections, fixes your photo right away. Right, right. And, and the other cool thing I love about this is it's not just using Photoshop's interface, right? Like you guys have written all of these algorithms yourself and you're doing something very specific with cameras, right? That's right. So we actually use Photoshop and Lightroom to host it, but we use all our own technology, all our own uh, algorithms. I'm really eager just to kind of see what the software is going to do. We're going to take some photos today, folks, do some real world tests and see what happens. Perfect. All right, Kelly, so let's, uh, let's get started and have a look at what we can do with this software program. Sounds good. Let's grab some image here and throw them into Photoshop. So we were using Photoshop now, CS5, but what else can we use this, uh, this plugin in? It'll work on CS3 and up, so CS3, 4, 5. It'll okay. work on Adobe Elements, 7, mm -hmm. 8, 9, 10. And then we have a Lightroom version as well. Very cool. And I also saw that you guys can do like mobile phone. Let's talk about that too, just briefly. What can you do with your mobile phone? Yeah, well, the mobile is obviously taking over the world these yeah. days. So <laughs> we actually have a mobile version for iOS and one for Android as well. All right, so tell us what we've got going on here. Essentially, I can just go grab one of my images in Photoshop. Okay. I'm going to filter, Athentech imaging. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, perfectly clear. That's okay. us. I click it, let it analyze the image. It comes up with an automatic correction. Oh, okay, so right off the bat, it's going to do sort of a suggested uh, way to fix your stuff. You oh, bet, okay, yeah. Cool, so, cool. so I can click on the image, and there's, a, there's your before, okay. and there's your after. Very nice. Or else I can also throw it in side-by-side -side mode so you can compare the difference here. Right. So what we've done, if you look in the right panel here, we've gone through, we've corrected your exposure, your contrast, your color vibrancy, okay. your sharpening, all with one click. Very cool. So, now we do have some controls, so, so what can we do there with these sliders here? Exactly, so now that we've given you our automatic correction, you can go in and adjust it. So if you feel you want a little more exposure, you can just run that up a little bit, or you want uh, okay. a lot more color vibrancy, just to get it exactly how you want it to look. Right, so, so that's nice. So I mean, because you were advertising that you can just click this thing and do it. And I think a lot of photographers are still scared though because they don't want you to take over their creative idea, right? So exactly. you still have the option of changing things yourself. Okay, very, very cool. So yeah, we've got a really washed out image, lots of color back, lots of detail back. So this already looks pretty good, right? So, so is, what can we do here? Well, this is one that's funny because this is a great shot, but it's actually been corrected by the photographer already. He went in and adjusted all his levels and came up with this. Right. So we said, okay, let's go in and see what we can do just with our automatic correction. On top of that. Run perfectly clear. Again, it's going to analyze it. Comes up with an automatic correction. Mm, okay. So now if I click the before, and the after, you can see there's much more clarity in it, much more sure. uh, vibrancy in all the details. Also, like a working professional, how would he use this software then if, if he wants to or she wants to, to you know, have something like this? What would it benefit for, for them if they can do all this stuff themselves? Yeah, well, like you said, so from a, you know, a prosumer, consumer point of view, you can click it and you're going to get a fantastic image. Right. For those with a very you know, particular eye on how they want their images to look, hmm. they can go through, run this. It's going to get them 95% of the way up. They can fix their color, the clarity, the sharpening, everything. Then they can go in and just fine tune exactly the last few things they wanted to do. Right, so this is a great way to just get started, save yourself time, exactly. get the workflow problems out of the way, exactly. and then you can do your fine tune afterwards with Photoshop and levels and layers. Exactly. Oh, okay. Most photographers I know love shooting photos. They don't want to be sitting behind their computer yeah, for sure. fixing their photos, right? <laughs> Most photographers I know don't have friends anymore or family because they've all left them because they're exactly. on the computer all exactly. day. So this is going to get you in, save you a ton of money because you're saving time. Very cool. Very cool. Now, I did see you had a photo that looked a lot like a family photo. I mean, my, uh, my wife and I, we've got two boys, and we just love to shoot, you know, the kids and stuff. And it's, you know, we know Photoshop, but you don't want to go through all those photos in Photoshop correcting each one, right? So you had one there of, uh, of a family together. Let's see what it does there. This one's really interesting because this is a typical problem, yeah. like especially with you know, point shoots and stuff. Depending where your camera's metering, you have a bright sky, it's saying, okay, that looks good, and the, the front foreground is all right. really under, under underexposed, exposed, right? Absolutely. So again, I just jump in, go into filter, perfectly clear, let it analyze this, 
and it does an automatic correction. Wow. Now what we've done here is we actually have presets. So all these presets do is turn on a few different things that we think are great in certain situations. Okay. So if you're shooting a portrait, you put on the portrait one. If you're shooting landscape, landscape. Right. This one, because it has the really dark spots and the high and the bright spots, we have one called fixed dark. Okay. I'm gonna put that on. All of a sudden, it pulls all the brightness out of the right. out of the shadows. Yeah, we haven't blown out the sky, and the colors are still great. Well, now, and, and this is good. These are these are photos that you've you've taken, okay? But uh, I've got this little Nikon S01. Now I know it's a tiny camera, and you know it doesn't. It's it's a good camera, but it's not taking amazing photos. We're talking about a small sensor and just very simple and straightforward. So let's see what uh, what your software can do to a ninety dollar camera if that works. Sounds good. All right. Okay, Lemmer. So we're gonna take a shot of here, just a little bit. Forward, yeah, and, and right, perfect, yeah, that looks great. All right, Kelly, so let's start with our first one here, which is we shot Lemmer, we're just having fun with this. And again, this camera is not taking amazing photos. Let's see what we can do with something like this. Again, it'll just go into perfectly clear. Very cool. Yeah, so you can see the red eye here is already gone. Yeah, let's just click it off here and see. Ooh. Although, yeah. the, although the red eye might be more appropriate for this image. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, so here we've got, we've got color. We're not getting very rich color right now. Certainly a lot of dark shadows and detail, hey? Yeah, one of those, again, one of those tough images because you have a real bright uh, object and then yeah, a dark, a lot of contrast. dark object. Oh, there we go. You know, I like that it still looks natural, you know? We're just, we're just kind of giving it a kick. It looks like it's very selective about what it does and, and, you know, leaves a lot of stuff alone. So one of the things we do is we actually go pixel by pixel. So we don't apply the same correction throughout the whole image. Oh, very cool. All right, now I want to see this one here. So here, yeah, so, you know, we've got an oil spill here, very, very flat light outside. Um, these purples, this is something I was looking on your website, you got a lot of great information on there that these can be some real issues, right, when we're, when we're shooting on camera. Let's see what we get here. Wow, okay, so beautiful kind of look. So this is one of the beauties of, of Perfectly Clear. This looks more like the oil spill did when we we shot it outside as yeah. opposed to what our camera captured. Mm -hmm. So with you know a couple of clicks, you can modify it down a little bit exactly how, right. how you wanted it to look. And again, like any piece of software, we can take this as far as we want. If you want to have a really vibrant kind of look, pushed out, look, it'd be great for landscapes and things like that. Yep. We can do it or we can keep things fairly subtle. But our photographers are also going to want to know, what about raw support? You know, what can we do with your software in raw support? Absolutely. So we use Adobe Camera Raw to open the file up okay. and then it pulls it into Photoshop. So that 16-bit image, we can now process and has a lot more information. You get great quality out of it. Great. So no problems with raw files. We can handle 16-bit. Yeah. Very it'll very work cool. on a JPEG, work on a TIFF, work on a RAW. No problem. All right, Kelly. So really easy today. We use some of your photos. We use some of ours, which is nice to see. Here's some things that I've noticed about it. Uh, the sharpening aspect was really nice. Maybe a little bit nicer than what Photoshop does. And the noise too, I noticed there's not a lot of, uh, of degradation. And that's just because that pixel by pixel kind of process. That's right. right. The other cool thing was the color fidelity. I was surprised by that because it wasn't just about boosting saturation and getting something really crazy over the top. We're getting a lot of realism back. The, in the true color. color. Right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So that was nice. That was nice. Um, super easy, quick. Eh? I mean, this is about saving somebody time which I guess saves them money. I'm mean, a professional photographer, time is money. So That's right. that, that worked out really well. Now, one of the other great things here, we, uh, we want to talk about value, okay? Because it's a lot of stuff you're getting here. What's the price on this software? It's $199 for okay. either the Photoshop or the Lightroom version. Right. Now, one cool thing that we're really excited about at the store is anybody that buys our DSLRs or mirrorless cameras is going to get a copy of this for free, right? Photoshop, yep. Lightroom, so very, very cool add-on software. I think people are going to really, really like this software out there. Great thing too, a lot of science behind this. Now folks, too much science to talk about in the context of this video. So if they want to get more information, where's a good place to go? Yeah, if you just go to athentech.com and click on the science tab, there's a lot of information you can learn exactly how we do it all. Yeah, and you know, actually very easy to understand, which I like too. It's very technical, but easy to understand. You so bet. thank you so much for coming by and showing us the software. It. We're very excited about this product. And uh, folks, you will be too. Uh, come see us and come check us out uh, at thecamerastore.com. See the software. Sounds good.